Hello, I am Mrs. Trivedi Suresh Babu, having social science teacher, having an experience of more than 20 years. Dear children, yesterday we learnt about the Paleolithic or the Old Stone Age. Let us move on to the next topic of this chapter, that is Mesolithic Age. Mesolithic Age is also called as Microlithic Age. I will tell you why it is called as Microlithic Age. The age between the Paleolithic and the Neolithic, between these two ages, the age which existed was called as Mesolithic Age. Why it is called as Mesolithic Age? Men started using small tools which were more efficient than the tools made during the Paleolithic Age. That is why it is called Microlithic Age. Micro means small, that is why Microlithic. The stone weapons which were made were efficient and small in size, it was called as Microlithic Age. And the men learned to make the handle, that is the tools had wooden handle to handle it easily and they used the spears while hunting so you know in this age also men continued the occupation of hunting gathering wild nuts was also there because he was searching he was going in uh, in search of food from place to place again the problem was that the food was not available always during all the seasons food was not available so the men during this age also that is mesolithic age also had to endure the hunger endure means bear he started rearing animals this cause led him to start the rearing of animals that is cattle rearing that were wounded what he was doing he was going for hunting some of the animals were wounded he used to bring that wounded are the offspring sometimes the mother used to die while during the hunting used to bring the offspring with small ones of the animals and during hunting he began to bring it that home and began to rear it now he had he had secured source of food because the hunted animals was coming to house in the form of offspring or the wounded so now there is no problem of the food Next, this led to the animal husbandry. He began to rear the animals for getting the food and to rear its offspring. And wandering to get food for... Now he wandered from place to place, not only getting food for himself, but for, all the, for also the animals he brought and kept at home or he was rearing. And wherever they stayed or took shelters, they drew pictures on the stone or the caves. So he made it, it was an important hobby. During his free time, he used to take shelter under the cave or the rock. He used to draw the pictures. In your textbook, there is a picture. If you look at that picture, you will have an entire picture of that Mesolithic age. What, what were the cattle and how he was using the fire, what animals he was rearing. If you look at that picture, or and what men were doing, they were carving the animals used. And you can also look, uh, see the stone weapons also and use a fire also. He knew the fire and its utility also. Utility means usefulness. Upayoga, what we say in Canada, Upayoga. He knew the use of the fire. Now, after learning, so now you, can, you are clearly aware of the, some of the facts and the differences between the Paleolithic age and the Mesolithic age. Some improvements and developments were made during this period. Now, let us know some of the locations of the Mesolithic age. Brahmagiri and Kanagana Halli in Karnataka, Bimbekta and Adamgar in Madhya Pradesh, Bagur and Ganeshwar in Rajasthan, Bairampur in West Bengal, Vanapasari in Andhra Pradesh, Sarai Nahara in Mahada and Mahada in Uttar Pradesh. So there were, these were some of the locations where Mesolithic age men settled. Now the historians are of the opinion or scholars are of the opinion that Mesolithic age existed between 12,000 years to 9,000 years ago. If you look at the picture in the page number, I told you that picture will give you the entire picture of the age. Now, I think you have understood about the Mesolithic age. Now, let us move on to the next stage that is Neolithic age. See, Neolithic age means new stone age. Due to shortage of food for them and animals, he started producing his own food, cultivation or the agriculture 
became an important occupation of the Neolithic age. This is a first step of improvement in the Neolithic age. He started cultivating on the bank of the rivers because alluvial soil was abundant. You know children, the bank of the rivers will be very fertile and almost all the civilization of the world flourished on the banks of the river. Why means the soil was very fertile, agriculture was made easy and men were getting plenty of water for agriculture, for themselves and for the animals also. Now he learned to settle in one place. There is a lot of difference. So during the those two ages, Paleolithic and Mesolithic age, men was wandering from place to place in search of water, food, shelter and now he began to settle in one place because with him the animals were also there, agriculture was also flourished. And this is the first step of the, uh, this is an evidence, there are some evidences to show that men had were cultivated on the banks of the rivers. He used sun dried bricks, now he began to build houses for him. He knew the use of alluvial soil, he made bricks out of the alluvial soil found on the bank of the rivers. It was dried in the sun, natural. And it is also known that underground shelters were also made by the men. See children, how much uh, development took place from Mesolithic and Paleolithic age to Neolithic age. Slowly men, why this happened means men began to think in new way. He wanted, he began to, so I can do this, I can change my life. Like this he began to change his life, began to use new things. And uh, next uh, very important aspect of this is uh, he made pots, okay. Underground shelters are, uh, there is an example. Barzhom, there is a place in Kashmir, Barzhom. Underground shelters were found by the historians of the Department of Archaeological Archaeology. Archaeology. So there is evidence that he knew he had the idea of underground shelter to store the food and all. And now, where to store the food? See, if your mother brings more and more grocery, what she will do? She will keep it or store it in. Nowadays, you have got plastic boxes and all. Those days, it was not available. So he began to make the pots from the alluvial soil. So first he made the pots from the hand. Later on, after some years, he began to use the wheel. When the wheels came, when he invented the wheel to make the pots, new design, new variety of pots were made and large scale of pots were used. Now stone tools were sharpened. Still there was improvement in the making of the implements or the stone weapons. Now Sanganakallu of Bellari is a very good example. Sanganakallu in Bellari of Karnataka is a very good example to have there are some evidences are found here to know that Mesolithic men lived here and what all he used. Now, after learning the aspects of the Neolithic case or futures, let us know some of the locations. Banahalli, Brahmagiri, Budihal, Hallur, Piklihala, Tinarsipura, Utanur in Karnataka are some of the important places. Chirand of Bihar case. It is said that Neolithic age existed between now 9000 to 5000 years, in between 9500 years ago. Now we are calculating these years children from now. From now means from this age to about 9000 to 5000 years ago. I think you have understand, understanding my lesson. If you like, please comment and share children.